Deb. I am doing my January update for the 50 Shades of Yellow Gold. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab that was created by Jessica, Amanda, and Cece. I have their information linked below. This started on the 15th of April last year, ends on the 15th of April this year when a new color will start. It has already been chosen. Monthly updates on the 15th social media hashtag is hashtag the numbers 50 shades of yellow PP. Wow, we are getting down there. The update today, two more finale. Boom, what? Wow, okay. Working on the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner in Tropical Lemon. Last time I said I would have this done for this update and there's the tiniest little drop in here that would not come out. It's done. Still have in here the Batiste Dry Shampoo in the Tropical Exotic Coconut scent. Again, I don't think I've used this since the last update. I don't know how many times I've said that now, but I don't want to use it just to use it, and that might just get rolled over into another project. Still working on the AOA Green Tea and Vitamin E Cleansing Balm. Did I start my camera? Good grief. Okay. This one here, not a favorite, but I am forcing myself to use it. It will be done by the finale, but I don't love it. I have the Good Molecules Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil. This is a 13 ml size, and I did finally finish this one. The texture on this one was pretty weird when you got some up in the dropper. I wonder if I can get the tiniest bit out. No, you can see some in there. It looks like melted butter. And can you see that? It is, I swear to you, it's like, it's melted butter. Doesn't smell weird. It doesn't whatever. Um, I mixed this one in with my body lotion and it was fine to use, but it just weird. Okay. Anyway, that one is done. Uh, the Pure Lease Pineapple Bright Cleansing Gel. Finally finished this one. And this, good grief, this smelled amazing. And it took me quite a while to figure out exactly what the smell was in this. Remember, okay, if you're my age, I'll be 50 next year. When we were kids, there were suckers and I don't know if they were called Rocket Pops, what they were called, but they were suckers that were shaped almost like a Christmas tree. They were fatter at the base, got skinnier at the top, and they were like white, yellow, green. I don't remember the different color gradients, but I think the very tip of it was white and it was pineapple or pineapple esque that is exactly what this smells like months i used this and i was like god this is, like seriously the nostalgia i had from the smell that's what it was it was that freaking candy and those suckers you couldn't chew them because the candy was like the texture was weird like if you bit into it it just like stuck to your teeth so you couldn't like chew it but it like they took forever like as a sucker it, weird okay anyway Please tell me someone knows what I'm talking about. I'll try to find a picture, but I mean, it's like from 1892. I don't know if they'll have one, but anyway, delicious smelling. I have enjoyed using that a lot. I also have the Pure Lease Pineapple Bright Gel Cream. I don't love the smell of this one as much. I think that the smells are just slightly different. It still smells fine, but this one way more like candy-esque to me. This one here, there's an air bubble in here, but we're down to there. This will definitely be done. This breaks my freaking heart and I, like I don't wanna be that person, okay? That's like, oh God, uh. but I'm actually, I feel like I'm going through mourning, like a period of grief and mourning over this. It is the Clay de Po Enhancing Contour, Enhancing Eye Contour Cream Supreme. 
this is 15 mils, I'm pretty sure. But I got this from Buzz Agent, I think. Buzz Agent, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, this here, $280. I cannot buy another one. I do not think eye cream does a lot. I love using it because I think it feels nice. But for myself personally, I have never had an eye cream that I was like, oh yeah, this works great until this. And when I tell you the very first time I used this, I actually did a double take after I put it on and I was like thinking that like my lighting was screwed up, that something was wrong. And I FaceTimed Danny and I said, please tell me you're seeing what I'm seeing. Like it blew my freaking mind. I have, tr man down, I have treasured this. I put it in this project because I had to use it up. It, it's, I can't just let it sit here and go bad. You know what I mean? I had to use it up, but I babied this and I thought I had a lot left in here. And the other night I put my finger in and nothing came out. I put my finger in and nothing came out. And I realized that what I was like seeing and whatever was just the color of the jar in there. And I was like, oh my God. And when I really took a good look, I had three uses left. Three uses left. Now I have no uses left and honestly, like I am not okay. I am not well. I am not well. Okay, anyway. I am still working on the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer in Seychelles. I do like this one, but I will say, oh, I still have that oil on, that if you are looking for a nice cream bronzer, the one from Revolution, the Ultra Cream Bronzer in Light, is my favorite. Hands down, favorite, favorite. I want to use this 21 times. Today was use number 24. Holy crap, one use to go. I think I can do that. The next two are Natasha Denona's Blush and Glow Duo. I want to use each side 25 times. This is beautiful. And I'm pretty sure I grabbed these. I was on Sephora one day and I think they had these for like 10 or $12 or something. And I was like, uh, yes, please. Beautiful. The blush and the highlight. The highlight I have used nine times and the blush I have used 10. So I need to pick it up, but I did just finish a couple other blushes that I was working on. So now I can focus on this and do what I need to do. From Nude Sticks, I have the crayon in Doo Wop. I want to use this 25 times and today was use 16. I have realized that these kind of crayons are useless to me because I would much prefer just to use my Painterly paint pot. So I'm actually putting my paint pot down and then tapping some of this over, which is a total waste, but I will get my uses and then that will probably just sit in the drawer forever until another project calls for it. But I just, I, I don't need them. This one shocked me and not in a good way. Not yesterday, the day before I was in here and I did a look kind of similar to what I have on today, but I grabbed my liner. I have the About Face liner in Eternal Sunshine. I wanted to use it 25 times and this liner I've really enjoyed just using a little color, you know, right here. But I wanted to use it 25 times. I only used it 16 and then it wouldn't, like, it's gone. I'm like, wait, what? But I realized that there are 16 uses here. I don't know if I had it in a project before this or if I had used it, but I started using this back in April. So April, May, June, July, August, September, we skipped October. So November, December, January, there's nine times that I did like really like big swatches to show in my updates. 
Plus, I spoke about this in my eyes project updates, so it got swatched there. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure what happened to it, but it's gone, and it just, I wasn't ready for it to be gone. Okay. I was also working on the Lancome Lashy Dull Mascara. I have 2.5 mil. This burned my eyes so badly. Oh my gosh. I put it on and my eyes just instantly were on fire. I was like, no, we're not doing that. Then I decided I would leave it out and use it to touch up my grays. And then I realized that that was making me incredibly freaking lazy and I was not dyeing my roots. My roots needed to be dyed like desperately. No, this is going in the empties bin. I will dye my roots when they need it. Shame on me. Also working on the MAC Magic Extension Fiber Mascara. Not my favorite not my favorite. I opened this on the 1st of December, so it is still good to be open for a couple more months. But the little fibers or whatever the little gloopy gloops things are, those end up in my eyeballs and they burn. And I don't enjoy that. So it's only been a month. I am going to give this one more month Maybe I'll just try it on my lower lashes. That way it can't fall into my eyes. I'll do that. I'll do one more month, lower lash line only, and then this is done. I had a note that this needed to be opened in the January update in order to be used for three months. The Grande Mascara Conditioning Peptide Mascara. I opened it today, and honestly, this is kind of gloopy. Um... We'll see. I will have to, I'll have to report back on this one. I, I'm not sure yet. Next from Milani, I, throughout this whole entire project, I've had in the Milani brow pencil in ebony, have not used it, and I don't want to use it. If I do my brows with a pencil, I really like my AOA pencils, so I am going to donate that one before it is used. In its place though, I'm going to bring in the Milani Weekend Brow. This is in Espresso, which not like I would typically like whatever's their black shade, but this does not look too bad. And if I'm just doing a few little brow hairs or whatever, it won't be bad. And especially like when I have a lot of grays, like this color actually is okay. So this will take its place, school is to finish. I have the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Chocolate. I want to use this 25 times and today was use number 15. Beautiful color and it's comfortable to wear. I like it a lot. I had said that this would be empty by the last update, and then I said no, I didn't want to use it just to use it. That is still true. The Grande Lips little thing, it is almost gone. Just a handful of uses left. I wonder if I can put some on my lips now without... No, I'll probably destroy the brush, huh? Yeah, I'm not going to put it on. I like putting this on, like, right after I exfoliate my lips, and just they look plump and juicy and I love it. So that that might be done by the next update. We are making progress on the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Mine is in porcelain. You can see windowing. Oh gosh, there's windowing all the way down to here now. This might be empty at the next update. I am using this as my foundation and I would love for this one to be done. The last two items that I'm still working on are from Pat McGrath. They are the little mini balms. One is in Flesh 3 and one is in Blow Up. Flesh 3 is an absolute train wreck. This is the one I have on right now and to put it on I just have to like tap it on or it just 
falls right out. And this one, oh, here, I'll give you, well, do I want to, do I trust a swatch? I don't know here. I mean, it stayed in place. And then this one here is blow up. And this one has managed to stay intact so far. And I'm not sure how, please don't fall off. Please don't make a liar out of me. I swear I'm started to sweat with that. There is flesh three and there is blow up. Very nice tinted balmy formula. In fact, I want some of this one on now. The list to finish both of these, I don't know if that'll happen, but I enjoy working on them, even though the one is like an actual disaster. I mean, same. Can relate. Okay. That is everything. So, oh no, it's not. I totally missed something. Hold on. I missed something. It was in my empties bin. It was the Manicadar, the lippy scrub in the stick. It is gone. Oh my gosh. This thing was brutal to use. I'm not sad that it's gone. Okay. Is that it for real though? So this time we finished the Cinema Secrets, the Good Molecules, the cleanser that smelled like the sucker <sighs> right in the heart, the Clay de Peau Cream, the About Face Liner, the Lancome mascara and the lip scrub. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good month. Actually, I need to have another good month or two, uh, to be super successful at this, but I mean, this is not going to be done by the finale. So I already know that I will not be 100% successful, but dang it, I'm going to be close. You know what I mean? I think I want that to be the only thing I don't meet my goal on. And this is something like I refuse to use it just to use it. I just, I can't do that to products. I just, I can't. If it's something that I really dislike, I would rather donate it or give it to a friend um, than force uses. You know, I just, I, I can't do that. So anyway, I will stop rambling and Thank you so much for giving me some of your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you're having a really good day or night, and I hope you sign up for the next round of this. It's time. It's time to start prepping for this one. Uh, it takes a lot of work. Anyway, uh, I love you, and I mean it. Oh, heart this time. The last update I just filmed, I ended up with some weird pumpkin, but okay, anyway. I heart you even if I can't make like an actual, ooh, you know what I can do? I can do that. Okay then. Bye. I don't know why I'm such a fucking weirdo. I don't. I don't. I don't. I just had the weirdest fucking thought that I didn't turn on my camera and I was like, oh my God, am I going to scream or cry? And the answer to that was fucking yes. It was just yes. It was all going to happen. Okay. Now what I need to do is pull my phone down and check and make sure I have audio for everything I filmed today. Because if I don't, shit's going to go down. Actually, it won't. I will take a break and eat and refilm. God, that sounds terrible. I do not want that to be what happens. Okay, please let there be audio.